welcome back so let's go ahead and uh, see the other details of the architecture and this video will see uh, the flash the ram and the internal registers of the microcontroller so this is what forms or constitutes the memory of the microcontroller so we have registers which are very close to the cpu and they are used for temporary storage so we have a lot of registers in the uh, 8051 microcontroller we'll discuss them in detail here then apart from resistors we have another temporary storage uh, memory which is ram so we have 128 bytes of ram on the 8051 microcontroller and uh, and apart from this to store the code permanently on the microcontroller the generic 8051 will have 4 kilobytes of flash memory so this is for temporary access and then again uh, ram is used to fetch the code from the flash and to store temporary data that's, that is that generates uh, during processing and the flash is used to store the and store the code that we write for the microcontroller now let us look at the flash memory in detail so since it's a 8-bit controller all the opcodes are fetched 8 bits at a time so since this is 4 kilobytes which is 1024 into 4 so uh, to address the 4 kilobyte memory, we require 7 bits. Since it's 8 bit, we will say it has 8 bit. So, uh, the highest address would be it would start from 0 and end at FFF. So, this would be 4 kilobytes. So, let's check that calculation uh, in detail here. So, so we have 1024 into 4 which is 4 kilobytes of memory and uh, to if we start from 0 and I mean, let me just put that in decimal so we have 1024 uh, kilobytes so 1024 into 4 and if we do it in hex it is 1 0 0 0 or if we start from 0 it would be 1 less so it would start from 0 and end at FFF so if we draw a memory map for the 4 kilobytes uh, it would be something like this so the starting 8 bit location would be this is a hexadecimal notation so it will be 0x00 zero zero zero, and the 4k would end at 0x f f f so this is the 4 kilobyte of flash memory that is available on the 8051 microcontroller now let's go ahead and look at the ram that is uh, available on the microcontroller so if you look at the internal ram it is of 128 bytes so we have RAM of 128 bytes again uh, to verify the addresses so uh, this is 128 in hex uh, in decimal so in hex it's 80 and if we start from 0 it would end at 7f so this is what we see here so it would start with the location 00 and end at 7f so this is the one 128 bytes of memory that we have now in that 128 bytes of memory we have four register banks and each register bank has eight registers and these registers start from r0 to r7 uh, so, at one point in time, 8051 can access 
only one of the four register banks and uh, and the program status word is used to switch the registers if required so we have about 32 general purpose registers so these are the four register banks that we have now apart from that we have 16 byte bit addressable memory starting from locations 20 to to f so these 16 bytes are bit addressable uh, so what do you mean by bit addressable is say location 20 for instance so location 20 will have 8 bits so by bit addressable we mean each of these bits can be made 1 or 0 so instead of accessing the entire register we can directly access a particular bit so this is the bit addressable RAM and there is a general purpose RAM which is used during execution of the code which is called the scratch pad RAM so to, uh, to just have an overview we have 128 bytes of internal RAM in 8051 microcontroller and of that 80 I mean 128 bytes we have uh, 32 bytes reserved for the four registered banks then we have 16 bytes for the bit addressable space and the remaining is the scratch pad or general purpose RAM now let us go ahead and look at the registers in detail so, so these are uh, the 8051 resistors now if we could look at them carefully the RAM address has ended on 0x7f so uh, the space above it is used uh, or is designated uh, to the other special function registers and all registers in general so what you could also observe is uh, the the addresses which we have written are not consecutive meaning to say that some space in between is reserved uh, to add functionality to the microcontroller so let's go ahead and see what registers we have so the first uh, what we observe is what we have po pointed out in blue so we have uh, port 0 port 1 and port 2 and port 3 so these are the four ports that we have on the microcontroller so the any input and output that we do will go through this port registers now apart from that you could also see uh, here these are used to access memory so uh, the stack pointer is used to access RAM and DPTR is used to access external memory Alright, so and we already seen what the port registers are. Apart from that, we have two timers which are used to used to measure time internally or they are used to count objects um, uh, objects or events external to the microcontroller. So these registers are related to the timers uh, one and zero. So uh, TH1 and TH0 are related to timer 0 and TL1 and TL0 are related to timer timer uh, I mean uh, so, so basically they are not in a consecutive fashion as you see so TL0 and uh, TH0 they form uh, a, a timer 0 and uh, TL1 and TH1 forms timer 1 so this is a mistake here so uh, so these are uh, the timer registers and these are timer control registers so we will see these in details when we discuss about timers now we also have on the controller a facility to communicate with the external devices and to uh, do that we have a couple of registers uh, which are used for serial communication the S buff is a buffer register that is used for serial communication and SCON defines baud rates and other parameters that are used in serial or UART communication. Now, uh, since the controller also accepts uh, interrupts from various sources, there are a couple of registers to 
uh, deal with the interrupts on the microcontroller. So uh, the interrupt enable and interrupt priority are resistors to configure interrupts on the 8051 microcontroller. Apart from this, we, as we already seen, we have the accumulator register, the B, the program status word. So the program status word basically indicates uh, various flags and status outputs of arithmetic operations and also uh, we can switch register banks using program status word. So these are all uh, the uh, resistors of the 8051 microcontroller. Thank you for watching.